Hello friends, welcome to the interview questions for SQL PL SQL developers. So here is another prominent question which is being asked in most of the freshers interview questions like what are the types of DML trigger exist? And the next question is if there is like more than one type of DML trigger exist and what is the order in which these triggers will get executed? So let us try to understand in detail about the types of triggers and what is the order in which, in which it gets executed. So before that we have already seen like at a very high level what are the different types of triggers. So here is a broad classification of triggers which we saw in detail in the video number 8 like DML trigger, DDL trigger, system trigger instead of a compound trigger. So in this video we are going to talk very specifically about the subtypes in the DML trigger. To start with DML triggers are the one which gets executed whenever we do a DML operation. So that at a very high level this trigger is broadly classified into two types one is called a row level trigger another is called statement level trigger so the row level trigger which will get executed or fired for every row that is getting affected by the statement whereas the statement level trigger would get fired just once for the statement being executed for example suppose if you are doing an update statement and if that update statement is affecting five records then row level trigger will get fired five times whereas the statement level trigger will get fired just once. So the statement level trigger is just fired once for the statement being executed whereas the row level trigger will get fired for every row that is getting affected. Again since it is a DML trigger these trigger the types are again further classified based on the DML operation. So, uh, insert row level trigger or an update or a delete same way under statement level also we have like insert trigger, update trigger or delete trigger. Uh, further these uh, DML operations are again classified based on whether the trigger you want to fire before the DML operation or after the DML operation. So again further these are classified like uh, before trigger or after trigger. So basically like we have 12 different types of trigger, 6 falls under row level trigger category, uh, 6 falls under the statement level trigger category. Now let us see how to identify whether the given trigger is like a row level or a statement level trigger. So the first thing is like if you see the keyword called for each row then this is the row level trigger. Again if you see the before keyword or after keyword suppose in this case this is a before keyword so this is a before trigger. Same way you will be able to find the DML keyword here like the DML operation keyword. So in this case it is insert. So this is basically a row level insert before trigger. So this is the trigger. Same way uh, here is the another trigger row. So this is also a row level trigger whereas this is like after insert trigger. So row level after insert trigger. So this is the combination here. Same way like uh, let us see like two more triggers. One is like a statement before statement uh, level trigger. Sorry before trigger that is at a statement level same way after trigger at a statement level. So um, this is like statement insert before trigger. So this one same way this is like statement insert after trigger. So this is the statement insert after trigger. So now here is the question suppose if all these four triggers are created on a single table and if you are doing an insert operation obviously when you are doing an insert operation all the insert related triggers will get fired. So here we have like four different triggers, two for row level, two for statement level, like one row level before, one row level after, one statement level before and one statement level after. In fact, all these four triggers are for insert operation. So in this case, if you're doing an insert statement, which trigger will get fired or in which order all these four triggers will get fired. Let us try to understand this with a simple example. So, so here I am just going to create a table called student. I am just creating a sequence called log sequence just to know the order in which the triggers are getting fired. So the first trigger I am going to create is like a uh, before insert uh, statement level trigger. So just to understand uh, just for us to understand I just uh, I am just printing what the name of the trigger or the category of this trigger. So in this case it is like a statement level trigger this is a before trigger and it is an insert trigger. So let me just first create this same way I am just creating statement level after trigger same way I am creating row level before insert trigger same way here is the row level after insert trigger. Now that we have created all the four different types of trigger now let us try to do an insert statement and let us see the order in which it, the 
DBMS output statements are getting printed. So now I'm just executing the insert statement. As you can see here, the first trigger getting fired is the before trigger that is at a statement level followed by a row level before insert trigger. Then the actual insert operation will happen followed by the row level after insert trigger and the final trigger is the statement level after trigger. Okay, this is fine. Let, let us just commit this. Let us just insert one more record. I'm just putting another student into this. Fine, it's also committed. Now let us try to do an update statement. So in fact, I, I, I have all these triggers here. Let me first recreate all those triggers. So, so here is the list of updates rest of the triggers. So I'm creating all the rest of triggers here. In fact, I'm creating four triggers for update and remaining four for delete. All 12 triggers I've created. Now, if we try to update this statement, as you can see here, this update will not do any update operation because I just mentioned where one equal to two because it will not do any update. But still, the uh, this is a valid syntax, valid update statement. So the statement will get executed. So in this case, this only the statement level get triggers will get fired. So this is one key learning. Irrespective of whether the statement is affecting a row or not, the statement level triggers will get fired. Whereas the row level triggers will get fired only if there is a state uh, rows getting affected because of the TML statement. So now let us see. Now if you are trying to do this update statement, only the statement level triggers are getting fired. That is the before statement level trigger and the after statement level trigger. Now let us try to update for student number equal to one, student number equal to one. So in this case, there is, it will uh, update a valid record. So now if you see, it's triggering all the four record, right? That's why all these, um, sorry, it's updating the valid record. So that's why it is get all the valid four triggers are getting fired. Suppose, let me just remove this var condition. In this case, this update statement will update two records. Now, if we see, the statement level triggers getting fired once, whereas the row level triggers are getting fired twice because this particular update statement is going to affect two record because just now we inserted two record into this table. So now let us, uh, this is what we have seen. Uh, whenever the uh, table has all the four trigger, the first trigger that is getting ex uh, executed is a statement level trigger followed by before row level trigger followed by the actual DML operation then the after row level trigger, finally the after statement level trigger. So this is one key learning uh, because sometimes you might be asked because once you answer all the trigger related question, so this is another valid question. Sometimes interviewer might ask this. There are a few other related questions like uh, a difference between, though we have seen a little bit about a difference between row level and statement level. And there are few other related concepts like instead of triggers are there, which we normally will write on a view instead of a table. Uh, where we will say that instead of updating a view, you just need to go and update the base table because view as such does not have a record. So there is another thing called compound trigger where we will be writing all these 12 triggers in a single trigger itself. That is called a compound trigger. Probably all these uh, questions we'll see in detail in a separate video. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, concept videos, SQL practical questions. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please share your comments or you can drop to this mail ID as well.